hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel here in this video i discuss about components and working of ic engine we all know that engine is the main part of an automobile here i draw a basic layout of a ic engine so let's discuss here i show the components of an ic engine is piston cylinder connecting rod crankshaft crankcase rotation of crankshaft bottom dead center top dead center piston pin inlet valve cylinder head spark plug exhaust valve etc so let's start one by one first one is piston this is the structure of piston the main part of an IC engine is piston. It also called the heart of the engine. It reciprocates inside the cylinder and create mechanical energy from chemical energy of fuel and transfer the power to the connecting rod. This piston reciprocates inside cylinder up and down from TDC to VDC or from BDC to TDC. Material used to make this piston is cast steel and aluminium alloy. Next is cylinder. This hollow section is cylinder. It is the basic supporting portion of engine power unit. Its function is to provide space for burning of air fuel mixture under high pressure and allow it to expand and thus it generate power it is made by generally cast iron sometime chromium nickel are also added next is cylinder head next is cylinder head this is the cylinder head the top end of cylinder is closed by cylinder head. There are two holes in cylinder head for intake and exhaust. The top, it is the cylinder, top of the cylinder, this is called cylinder head. In cylinder head, there are two holes for inlet valve and exhaust valve. Spark plug is provided into the cylinder head. It is meshed by cast iron. Next is connecting rod. This is the connecting rod. Connecting rod connected the piston through piston pin. This is piston pin. Connecting rod attached with piston through piston pin. Connecting rod converts reciprocating motion of piston to the rotary motion of crankshaft. This is the crankshaft connecting rod reciprocates rotary motion of piston to the rotating motion of crankshaft. Now the crankshaft. Crankshaft transfer the power to the flywheel of the engine or to the output shaft. This crankshaft and connecting rod is covered by the crankcase. This is the crankcase by which crankshaft, connecting rod, etc. are covered. Next part is piston ring. These two are piston rings. This and this. These two are piston rings. It fits on outer surface of the piston. This is the piston. It fits of its outer surface to provide a good and tight fit it provide good and tight fit and less friction between piston and cylinder next is spark plug this is the spark plug spark plug is used in spark ignition engine only its main function is initiate the combustion of compressed air fuel mixture by producing spark it produce spark 
on air fuel mixer this is air fuel mixer it produce spark on it in compression ignition engine it is replaced by fuel injector wheel while it inject fuel that in compression ignition engine fuel injector is provided which inject the fuel these are the parts of an IC engine now let's understand its working principle firstly cam operated inlet valve open this is inlet valve which is cam operated this is open first and air fuel mixture comes in air fuel mixture comes in cylinder due to downward motion of piston when piston moves downward this inlet valve open and air fuel mixture comes in next when the piston goes upward then inlet valve valve closed and the mixer compressed and this time the spark plug create a spark and burn the mixer in this time the valves are closed when inlet valve close the piston compress the air fuel mixer and spark plug create a spark and burn the air fuel mixture for burning the air fuel mixture the gas gets expand and create a thrust on the piston and piston reciprocates downward and upward when it again comes upward exhaust valve open and gas is released to the atmosphere thus the cycle is operated so this is the working principle of IC engine so in this video I discuss about the construction and working principle of an IC engine hope you understand this video thanks for watching